Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider a numerical on overlap add method. And the numerical says that using overlap add method, compute the output of an FIR filter whose impulse response H of n is been given and the output X of n is also been given. And it's been said use only 8 point circular convolution in your approach. So now I can start with the solution. So the solution looks like, so first uh, let me write uh, LS, LS stands for, it is the length of the input sequence. So just count the, the number of samples in the input sequence. So how many samples are there? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes 12. So LS must be 12. And similarly the length of the impulse response I would represent it using the letter M. So what must be M here? So it, its length is uh, 3, so M must be 3. And similarly N, capital N. So what must be this? So this is equal to, and it, it said that use only 8 point circular convolution. Therefore N must be 8. So now I have one simple formula wherein I can find a small L using N equal to L plus M minus 1. And I said N is equal to 8. L I don't know. M is 3 minus 1. So this is equal to 8. 8 equal to L plus 2. Therefore, L equal to 6. So what does this mean L equal to 6? In the sense, I have to divide the input into number of blocks and in that block, I have to consider 6 samples from the input and its size must be 8. So I have to put uh, 2 zeros to make it the length of 8. So that's, that's what the process is, that's how the approach is. So in that way, we can uh, uh, continue. So now the task is uh, the input sequence, I have to divide it. So let me consider that the input sequence, the input sequence can be divided, the input sequence can be divided into blocks as. So now if I need to divide it, uh, let me write first x1 of n, so which is divided into a number of uh, blocks. So what is this? So I, I said uh, L got 6, so it must contain 6 samples over here, that is uh, 2, minus 2, 8, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3. So I have considered 6 samples and I will add 2 zeros to make it of length 8. Similarly, let me consider X2 of N. So I'll consider the next 6 samples from uh, x of n. I stopped at minus 3. So now I'll consider uh, minus 2, 1, minus 1 and so on. So let me write minus 2, 1, minus 1, 9, 1, 3. 6 samples are there. So now I would consider uh, 2 more zeros uh, to make it of length 8. So I have divided x1 of n and x2 of n. So now there are no more samples in x of n. So the process stops uh, at this point. Next I will consider the impulse response h of n. So its it, its values are, its samples are 1 minus 2, 3. 1 minus 2, 3. To find the circular convolution, this must also be of length 8. So I will increase the length of this to 8 by adding uh, 5 zeros so that uh, h of n uh, will also be of length 8 so that I can find the circular convolution easily. So now if the task is done I can write the output of y of n y1 of n to be precise equal to x1 of n circularly convolved with h of n. So now I can find uh, first thing y1 of n. So how do I find whatever I have written x1 of n I'll write the same thing in the column. Uh, 2 minus 2 8 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 0 0 so this is the first column I have written so next what I do is I'll consider 0 and I'll write it at the beginning and I'll shift these things uh, down by one position minus 2 8 minus uh, 2 minus 2 minus 3 0. So whatever 0 I have written down, I'll just take it at the beginning and I'll shift these things down by one position. 2, minus 2, 8, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3. So I'll take minus 3 at the beginning over here 
and I'll shift these things down by one position. This will be 2, this will be minus 2, this is 8, this is minus 2, minus 2. Again, I'll take minus 2 at the beginning and I'll shift these things down by one position. This is 2, minus 2, 8, minus 2. Take minus 2 at the beginning and shift these things down by one position. This is 0, 0, 2 minus 2, 8. So 8 I'll write it at the beginning. Then I have minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 0, 2, minus 2. Again I'll take minus 2 at the beginning. Uh, then I have 8, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 0, 2. So if I take 2 at the beginning, I'm going to get the first column back. So I will stop this process at this point of time. Are you understanding this? So there are 8 samples, so hence there must be 8 columns. In that way we can understand that. Yes, so now x1 of n is done. Uh, and now I have to multiply this with h of n. So what is h of n? It is uh, 1, minus 2, 3, and it has uh, 5 zeros uh, followed by that. Yes, this is uh, h, h, h of n. So now I need to multiply these two matrices so that I would get the output uh, y1 of n. So how do I get now? Just consider the first row. 2 into 1 is 2 plus 0 into minus 2, 0, 0 into 3, 0, and remaining all are zeros. So in the first sample, I would get it as 2. Correct? Similarly, uh, we need to proceed further. Consider the second row. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. And next it is 0. So I'm going to get minus 6. Are you understanding? So let me do the same thing for uh, third row as well. This is 8 into 1, 8. Minus 2 into minus 2, 4. 2 into 3, 6. So all are positive. 8 plus 4 plus 6. Uh, 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So in this way, we need to proceed further. So we are going to get the answer something like that. The next answer is a minus 24. And then we are going to get a 26. Minus 5. Next is a 0. Minus 9. So this is the answer for uh, y1 of n. Yes, so this is the output for y1 of n. Similarly, we need to proceed further and uh, uh, we need to get uh, y2 of n as well. Correct? y2 of n is going to be x2 of n circularly convolved with h of n. So what must be the output for that? Output y2 of n. I will not do it. I recommend you to do it by your own and uh, later try to uh, compare the answers with me because it is going to consume a lot of time. So I would uh, recommend you to do this by your own. So it is uh, minus 2, 5, minus 9, and then I'm going to have 14, minus 20, 28, minus 3, 9. So this is uh, y2 of n. So now I know y1 of n and y2 of n. So now I can write the final output to y of n equal to. So what must be y of n? y of n first I will write uh, y1 of n that is uh, 2 minus 6 18 2 minus 6 18 and then I have uh, minus 24 26 yes those things will remain same minus 24 26 minus 5 0 9 so now I need to consider writing y2 of n before writing y2 of n this method is called as overlap add method uh, I have written I have taken six samples from the input but last two samples I have written them as a zero so they must get overlapped so I have to consider uh, writing y2 of n while I'm writing y2 of n minus 2 minus 5 I will add the first two samples of y2 of n with the last two samples of y1 of n so that is the way how I write the final output uh, y of n the rest of the things will remain the minus 9 14 here I have minus 20, so this is uh, 28, uh, minus 3, 9. So this is the expression for uh, y2 of n, uh, y of n, and I will add those two terms and I will get the final output for y of n, which turns out to be 2 minus 6, 18, minus 24, 26, minus 5. 
So now 0 minus 2 turns out to be minus 2. And then I have uh, 9 and uh, 5. Is that is that correct? So what must be nine uh, minus 9? So is that minus 9 in y1 of n? So just let me check one more time. Yes, it is 0 minus 9. So this must be minus 9. Minus 9 plus 5 turns out to be minus 4. Is that correct? So I have got uh, minus 9 plus 5 minus 4 and the rest of the things will remain as they are. This is minus 9, 14, minus 20, 28, minus 3, 9. So this is the final output y of n which I have got using overlap and method. Hope you people have understood. I have solved everything step by step. If there are any doubts, please let me know them out in the comment section. I will definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.